The banksters own you and they've made you all slaves. Look at you sitting in this traffic line. I'm not trying to piss any of you off or upset you, but this is the reality. You're all sitting here in traffic so you can get home. Quit earning fiat currency. Tell your boss to pay you in silver or gold. Something that's decentralized where you can be the king. You are the king. You are free and you were born that way. No one can take that away from you. Only you can give up your freedom. You have to not comply. The banks are running this. It's not your politicians. It's not the people in your community. It's not anybody else. It's the banks. Until we stop with their fiat currency and start accepting things of real value, gold, silver, things that are decentralized, you will continue to be a slave. You can't give me the right to be a human being. I'm born with that right. Now you can keep me from having that. If you've got all the policemen and all the jobs on your side. Good Morning America is brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360. Brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference. Brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight. Brought to you by Pfizer. Early start. Brought to you by Pfizer. Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. This week with George Stephanopoulos is brought to you by Pfizer. This weather report brought to you by Pfizer. Today's countdown to the royal wedding is brought to you by Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the press. Data download. Brought to you by Pfizer. This portion of CBS This Morning sponsored by Pfizer. On how to find the hidden sugars in the American family diet. Sponsored by Pfizer. Thanks for joining me for the last of my videos covering the rally to hold public officials accountable in downtown Spokane on October 15th. As I said before, I'm not really into these rallies and the group think that takes place at them. And I'm not trying to detract from the people who go to them or what the organizers are trying to do. But it doesn't matter whether it's the left or right side of the divide and conquer system we are in. It's almost always just a few people speaking to a crowd and the crowd following what is said. It stifles the individual thought of those in attendance. In fact, after I posted the video from this rally, a supporter that follows me on Hive sent me a couple of essays on liberation from tyranny and groupthink. I haven't finished either yet, but one in particular is called The Crowd, A Study of the Popular Mind by Gustave Le Bon. And I want to share a simple yet profound truth regarding groups or schools of thought. This pertains to everyone, even myself, and probably the biggest reason why diversity of thought and always questioning things is so important to the preservation of liberty, in my opinion. In the book, Gustav says, to belong to a school is necessarily to espouse its prejudices and preconceived opinions. And I hadn't read this until after the rally, but something compelled me to be different with my presence at the rally on October 15th. The organizers had their message, and there were plenty of people there in support of it. But I wanted to take advantage of that and share something just a little different with the hopes that people might start thinking about more than just what we're typically presented with. Everybody driving by here, I assume you're driving home from work where you probably had to wear a mask and you're probably getting threatened with being forced to wear a vaccine. This is not okay. This is not freedom. When you live in a free country, you have choice. And unless you have done something to hurt somebody else, damage their property, or steal something from them, or defraud them, you should be left alone. That's what freedom is. Forcing people, trying to convince people that some doctors that you've paid money to, if you're the king of Washington, and convince them that your doctors are the only ones that opinions matter is not okay. That's not freedom. You cannot force people to do things against their will and call it a free country. Thank you, brother. I love you, too. If you want to call it a free country, you have to allow freedom. You cannot call it a free country and have mandates forcing people to do things against their will when they have done nothing to anyone else and you cannot prove they have. Wake up, Washington. Pull down your mask and stop getting the mandate. It's not good for you. Your masters want you to have it. That's it, plain and simple. 
Why is it being mandated so that Merck and Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson can make billions and billions of dollars off of vaccines that are being mandated for a virus that hasn't even been isolated in a human per the CDC documentation? Go look it up yourself. It's on the FDA's website. The CDC themselves has said they have not isolated this virus in a human, have said it since it started. But nobody cares because your corporate media who backs your banksters and wants you all to be fiat currency slaves to the banksters, that's all they care about, is that you guys comply. Keep wearing your masks and get the, ma get the vaccine. If you actually use logic, None of this makes sense. If you actually apply logic to what's going on in our world, not one bit of it makes sense. And you all know that. What's up, gentlemen? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Have a good night. Nice to see you not wearing masks. Hopefully you guys don't get mandated to get the vaccine. Wake up, Washington! Quit following the mandates of a king. You are not his subjects. You are free people. Every one of you was born free. You willingly consent to this. You've got to stop consenting. You've got to stand up and say no. Show me that I'm a danger to someone by coming out here without a vaccine and a mask. Show me that. Because so far, like I said, they haven't even isolated this in a human. Per the CDC on the FDA website. Go look it up. Have you asked the local health district how many cycles they're running the PCR test through? Because if it's over 20, they've already admitted it's inaccurate. It gives too many false positives over 20 cycles. And from my understanding, we've been doing 20 cycles this whole time since the pandemic started. What's going on, brother? Living the dream, trying to spread some freedom. I definitely agree with you, man. Keep preaching. All right, I will. <laughs> Do not submit, Washington! Please do not submit! You are condemning us all! The more you submit and wear a mask and get the vaccine! The CDC admits this has not been isolated in a human per the FDA website and their PCR test documentation. Check it out yourself. You cannot force people to do things against their will if they have not hurt anyone or damaged or stolen anyone else's property. Yet that's what our state is trying to do. They're telling people they won't be allowed to work and earn their fiat currency. Well, I got news for you. If you're earning fiat, get rid of it. Buy gold, buy silver, buy something that's decentralized that the banksters don't control. Because as long as you're earning their currency, you're a slave to them. Wake up! Say no! Stop complying! Quit being slaves to fiat currency! It's not okay! As long as you are our slaves, you condemn me and my family. Pretty soon we won't be able to go into stores. We won't be able to go into restaurants unless we have proof we have a vaccine. Is that what you want? Do you believe in the illusion of freedom? Because that's what you're living right now. you got to stop earning your fiat currency and start earning real things of real value. There is no value in the U.S. dollar, and it's dropping every day. Stop using it. You give the banksters power over you every day you do. Stop your job. If your job wants you to get a vaccine or wear a mask, quit. Tell them you want to start getting paid in crypto or gold or silver. Stop using fiat currency. It's what makes us all slaves. They control it. The banksters control it all. Look at the history of our country. It's been laid out from day one. From day one, the banksters controlled it all. Stop earning fiat currency. Gold and silver and crypto, decentralized. Do not allow the banksters to run our world anymore. This is the banksters pandemic. It has nothing to do with any country. This has to do with the globalists and the people that own the currency of this world running it and making us all slaves. Wake up. Quit earning fiat currency. Start demanding pay in gold or silver or crypto, some decentralized currency. Nobody can take your freedom from you. You consent to giving it up to the banksters. The banksters run our country. They run Europe. They run Asia. The banksters run it all. 
If you haven't figured out that by now, you haven't been paying attention. Wake up. Quit earning fiat currency. Ask for gold. Ask for silver. Ask for something of value. What is a piece of what is that piece of paper that your U.S. dollar? It's a debt. It's a note of debt. It says right on it. It's not. It has nothing of value. It's debt. Quit earning it. Live free, Washington. Quit listening to corporate media. They only tell you what their corporate masters want them to tell you. Everyone's sitting in traffic here. I want you to think about what you're doing today. Are you living free? Are you taking your freedom? Or are you consenting to give it away to your masters? As long as you are earning free on currency, you're giving it to your masters. Ask for gold or silver when you go into work on Monday. Do not ask for fiat currency in your paycheck anymore. Gold and silver, crypto, something decentralized. As long as it's centralized and the banks run it, you are a slave and you will be until they are no longer in control. They're the ones running all this and you guys know it. Wake up. It's hard. Believe me, I did it two years ago. I gave it all up. I gave it all up. It's hard. But you can do it. I believe in all of you. You can do it. Quit earning fiat. Quit being a slave to the banksters. The dollar, that piece of paper that says right on it that's a note of debt. It's nothing of value. It's a piece of paper that literally says it's a note of debt. Quit earning money for the banksters. Quit making them rich. Stop listening to them. You give up your freedom by consent. No one can take your freedom from you. You consent to giving it up when you earn fiat currency. Decentralized currency. Start demanding gold, silver, and cryptocurrency. It's okay, I did it. It's a little bit harder. I gotta transfer my money around, but I live off of crypto now. I don't use fiat currency except when I go to one of these establishments that only accepts it. Because my friends don't do it either. We all got to get off the banksters' money. That's how they rule us. That's how they own us. That's how they make us slaves. We need to start taking days off work. And instead of showing up here after all these tyrants have left this building here, we need to show up while they're still in there so they can hear how pissed we are. We can hear that they won't stand up for us. It's BS. What's that? Yeah. Monero. Monero. Yeah, I love Monero. There you go. Go Pirate Chain, too. I love Pirate Chain. Yeah, you know what Pirate Chain is? Right? My man, I'm thinking of Monero and Pirate Chain. I want to keep it private. I got a little bit of other stuff.
love it. This is why I let you burn my fiat currency. Stop. Ask for gold. Ask for silver. Ask for decentralized currency for your next paycheck. Do not accept notes of death from the bankers for your next paycheck. Thank you again for supporting my channel. Just by watching my content, you are supporting my work. However, if you want to support me in other ways, sign up on censorship fighting YouTube alternatives like Library, which uses Odyssey for its video platform, or Hive. Use the links in the description to earn yourself some decentralized crypto for getting started. There are non-cryptocurrency platforms as well, but you might as well get something of value in return for your support of your favorite content creators. Links to all of the platforms you can find Questionable Authority on are in the description. And don't forget to check out the Questionable Authority merchandise store.